Today I'm going to show you how to add a website to Moodle Tools as one of your sources. Keep in mind that there are many different types of websites and that websites can have primary, secondary, and tertiary sources. Once you find a site, evaluate what content you want to use from that site. Here's an example of one. This is from the New York Times. It's an article that I want to use for my civil rights project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Noodle Tools and I'm going to click Create New Citation. And then we're going to pick Website. Since we're citing a New York Times article, this would be considered a web page. However, if we're citing a photo or something creative, it would be in here. All of the green are creative citations. If you're citing a legal document, you might be able to find that in here. So you're going to go through here depending on what type of website you're citing, you have to pick the correct form. Now we're going to click web page and it'll open up our citation tool. So the first thing that we're going to enter in is the date of publication. So we go back in and we find that. It's up at the very top. It's June 20th, 2016. Next step, we're going to enter in our URL at the very top of the document. MLA 8 allows us to keep our citations in our bibliography. Next up is the author, Campbell Robertson. So he is our author, so we pick the role there and then we enter his name in here. You always want to make sure that you are capitalizing and that you're spelling correctly. Next is the web page or the article title. So for this particular one, we can find that right here. It's Mississippi Ends Inquiry into 1964. This whole title, it's a long one. Next is the name of the website. You know that's the New York Times. Um, and then finally, the publisher of the site. This can usually be found at the very bottom. And what I like about Noodle Tools is it gives you a little bit of help over here and it tells you where you can generally find it. So if you ever forget, it'll tell you. Um, so it's the New York Times Company, and we can actually shorten that to just the New York Times. And we do not have to fill in the rest of this form. We're not going to be annotating. We're just going to hit Submit. And that will appear in our Works Cited. If you ever have any questions about what your source is or how to enter it into Noodle Tools, just ask a librarian. We can assist you. Noodle Tools also offers a lot of online help.